Hi there guys, I'm Nikhil from Greedy Tech and in this video, I'll be showing you the most important tips and tricks for your OnePlus 7T. By the way guys, I'll be making a dedicated video for the best features where I'll be showing you all the features offered by this phone, which by the way is a huge list, so definitely check out that video, link will be in the description. Now with that said, first I want to start off with my favorite feature about this phone, that would be the new navigation gestures. By the way, this phone is running Android 10, so we got the new Android 10 based gestures. To enable them, you need to go to settings and once you're in settings, select buttons and gestures. Now select navigation bar and gestures and select the second option, navigation gestures. Once you do that, navigation bar is replaced with a single bar at the bottom. Now if you want to go home, you can swipe from the bottom of the screen, just like that. For recent apps, you can swipe and hold, just like the previous OnePlus gestures. But here's where it gets interesting. If you want to go back a step, you can swipe from the right side or left side in this way to go back a step. For Google Assistant, you can swipe from the corner, left or right, and it'll trigger Google Assistant. So there you go, that's Google Assistant. So these are the new gestures and I'm personally loving it. Now besides that, we can do cool things like quickly switching between applications. Now these are your recent applications. Now you can swipe on this bar at the bottom, just like on the iPhones, to quickly switch between applications. Just do that. So in this way, you can quickly switch between applications. And that's pretty intuitive and once you get used to it, it's pretty addictive. Next, I'm going to show you how to enable dark mode on this phone. OnePlus calls it a theme. And to enable it, we need to go to settings, then select customization. Over here, select preset theme. Now select dark. And once you do that, all the UI elements will change to dark colors. This will strain your eyes less at night. It looks cooler and saves some battery as well. One interesting thing about this theme is it even changes stock applications theme. So this is the phone dialer and it even has a dark mode. This is your notification area and this is the settings. So everything is in dark mode now. From the customization settings, you can change your wallpaper. You can also change the clock style for your ambient display. You can go with different modes. We can also change the fingerprint animations. And these are the different animations that we have right out of the box. Just select the one that you like and just click apply. And now it's applied. So here's the new animation. So there we go. Next, we can also change the accent colors. Personally, I like the blue, but you can also go with green, red, and any of these colors. Next, we can also change the shape of icons, toggles, and all the UI elements. So here are the shapes. We have rounded, followed by square. Next, we have teardrop, and finally, rounded rectangle. So I like to go with circle, so I'll just leave it to that. Next, we can also change the icon pack from here. Finally, if you want to change the theme, you can do it from here. Next, we can also use this power button to trigger Google Assistant. To enable that, you need to go to settings, then select buttons and gestures, and just enable this particular toggle. Once you do that, you can press and hold the power button to trigger Google Assistant. And if you click it for 3 seconds or more, you'll get the power options. And these are your power options. Now, if you're using these gestures, you might wonder how to open split screen mode. So for that, first you need to go to the recent apps page, then click this button over here, and select split screen. Once you do that, that application opens up in the top window, and you can select the secondary application from the list over here. If you try to use split screen mode for a few applications, say like gallery application, it simply fails. So here's the gallery application. And when you try to open, it says app does not support split screen. So to fix that, first we need to go to settings. Once you're in settings, scroll to the bottom, select about phone. Now click on build number seven times. Once you do that, developer options will be enabled. And now it's enabled. Let's go back a step. Now let's go to system and you can find the developer options over here. Just select that. Now just scroll up a bit and enable force activities to be resizable. And then restart your phone. Once you do that, you will be able to use all applications in split screen mode. Well, except for games. Next, I'm going to show you some quick shortcuts related to your camera application. So here's the camera application. This is the interface for the rear camera. And over here, we have a toggle to switch between the primary camera, wide angle camera and the telephoto lens. You can also switch between these modes using a pinch to zoom gesture. You can pinch in to switch to the telephoto lens and pinch out to switch to the wide angle camera. Next, we can also swipe left or right to change between all these modes. And by default, these are the only modes that are available on the top. But if you do a swipe up gesture, you get to see extra modes. On this phone, we also have a new feature called super macro mode. You can enable it from here. And now we can take macro shots with these three cameras. By the way, macro shots work really well with the wide angle camera. Next, if we go to settings, we have some interesting options. First, we have ultra wide lens correction. When you take a picture using the ultra wide angle lens, sides or edges are distorted. And if you enable this toggle, OnePlus tries to correct it a bit. Next, we have shutter sound. Now, every time you take a picture, you can hear that sound. For some reason, if you want to disable that, you just need to disable this toggle. 
Next, whenever you're taking a picture, if you're getting a watermark, just like on this phone, even for that, you need to go to settings and then select watermark. Then select shot on OnePlus watermark and disable this toggle. By the way, you can also add your own custom watermark, just in case if you're interested. Just write your name. And now let's give it a try. So here's the new picture and we get a different watermark. Shot on OnePlus by Greedy Tech. That's your name. Next, this phone also has Nightscape, which allows us to take better pictures in low lighting conditions. And on this phone, we can use this mode on the primary camera and even on the wide angle lens. So that's pretty cool. Now this phone has a 48 megapixel primary camera, but by default, it takes pictures in 12 megapixel. If you want to take 48 megapixel pictures, you need to take pictures in pro mode. Just go to pro mode and select this option over here and then select JPEG 48 MP. Once you do that, you can take pictures in 48 megapixel resolution. Now I'm going to show you how to take screenshots on this phone. You can just press the volume down and power button both at the same time to take a screenshot. And for some reason, if that's a bit hard for you, we also have three finger screenshot gesture where you can swipe down using three fingers to take a screenshot. Now, if this gesture is not working for you, you need to go to settings, then select gestures, then select buttons and gestures, then select quick gesture and make sure this particular toggle is enabled. If it is enabled, you can just swipe down using three fingers to take a screenshot. Next, if you want to take a long screenshot on this phone, first we need to take a regular screenshot. You can either use the buttons or the gesture. I'm going to use the gesture. Now click this button. Once you do that, your page will scroll automatically. And once it reaches the end, it'll stop and give you a long screenshot. Next, we still have those off screen gestures we have seen back in OnePlus One. So to enable them, you need to go to settings, then select buttons and gestures, quick gestures. And now these are the gestures. We have double tap to wake, music controls. We can draw O to open the camera application and B to toggle the flash. This is my preference. So here we go, double tap to wake, it works. We still have music controls where we can draw less than or greater than to change to the next and previous songs and draw two parallel lines to play and pause. Now let's test O to open the camera application and as you can see it still works and we can draw V to toggle the torch. There you go, now the torch is on. I'm going to do it again to turn it off. By the way, these gestures even work on ambient display and that's a quick preview. Now I'm going to show you some important gestures. This is the default launcher and when you do a swipe up gesture, it takes you to the app drawer. When you do a swipe down gesture, it pulls down the notification bar. When you do it again, you'll get the toggles. Now on your home screen or anywhere else, if you do a swipe down gesture with just one finger, you'll go to the notification area. But if you do it with two fingers, you'll get to see the toggles. That's a nice shortcut. On the default OnePlus launcher, if you go to the leftmost corner, you'll see OnePlus shelf. In this shelf, we have something interesting called parking location. Let's say you park your car somewhere. Using this feature, we can mark it. We can take a picture of the surrounding just by doing that. And it shows up always on your home screen in this parking location area. We can also pin its location on Google Maps. We can also pin its location on Google Maps. Just like that. Next, if you want to display the battery percentage and the network usage on status bar, this is what you need to do. Go to settings, now select display, scroll down and select status bar. From here, just enable this toggle to display the battery percentage on the status bar and enable this toggle to display the network usage on the status bar. Next, if you want to record calls automatically on your phone, first you need to open the phone dialer, then click this button over here, then select settings. Now select call recording, now enable this toggle and enable the second toggle as well. Once you do that, all the calls will be recorded automatically on your phone. By the way, if you don't want to see notification about call recording, you can disable this toggle. And if you want to record calls only from a specific number, you can do it from here as well. On most phones, whenever you get a call, you need to swipe up the phone dialer icon to the top. But on this phone, you need to swipe it down. If you want to fix that, you need to go to the phone dialer settings once again, then select settings and now enable this toggle. Once you do that, every time you get a call, you can swipe up the phone dialer icon to answer the call. This is something I would definitely recommend you to do. Now, one of the most highlighting features of this phone is definitely that 90 Hz display. For some reason, if you want to disable that, you can do it from display settings. Just go to display settings, then select screen refresh rate. And from here, you can change the screen frame rate. Now for the final tip, if you want to change your default launcher, browser, or even your SMS application, this is what you need to do. Go to settings. Once you're here, select apps and notification. Now select default apps. From here, you can change your default browser, default phone dialer, default launcher, default gallery application, default email application, and so on. This is one other thing I would definitely recommend you to do. So guys, these are all the most important tips and tricks for your OnePlus 7T. 
If I missed out on anything important, do let me know by commenting below this video and definitely check out my video on best features. Link will be in the description. By the way guys, if you're planning to buy this phone, use the link in the description. It always helps the channel. If you want us to make any specific video, tweet out to us with the hashtag AskGreedyTech on Twitter and we will try to make it as soon as possible. I'm Nikhil from GreedyTech signing off. Have a nice day.